of course there are several people who are always behind the sweat and the tears that we always see about from the boxers and these are the coaches and one of the coaches of course who's been so instrumental in nurturing and shaping up talents here is Anjere Andalo I'd like really to take take a walk and uh, go for him but here he is Anjere Andalo he's one of the coaches who have been so instrumental a coach uh, Karibu Sana on Sports Check, Anjere Andalo, the coach who handles uh, Anjere Andalo, yeah, Nalo, yes. Uh, coach, they call you the priest, and it looks like um, your work is really to try, you know, uh, spiritual, give them like a boxing spirit, you know, to instill boxing spirit in them, coach. How has it been for you when, with the young upcoming boxers here? It has been a long journey, uh, putting into consideration the sports boxing itself and uh, it being a professional sport we have very many obstacles and challenges that also contribute into into the quality of the sport uh, so uh, we have champions we have boxers who are very good upcoming boxers and we have also champions but then we are also appealing to the stakeholders uh, like the ones who can make it big also so that the sport can grow the corporates and sponsors all these kind of people to come on board and uh, build the professional boxing and take it to where it is you see you see like our neighbor uh, Tanzania here uh, Kenya is a big brother to Tanzania but in boxing Tanzania is a big brother to Kenya because they are they are so much advanced the corporates is uh, very much into sponsoring the fights and there's no uh, so much of hula balloons in the sport. So I'm calling upon also the uh, sponsors to come on board. Sarah is going to have a very big fight in May. It's a world title fight, WBF, World Boxing Foundation. The first and the one and only that has happened uh, so many years. It, it will be history in the making. She'll be going for her fifth title belt. She's the angel of war. So I'm calling for all Kenyans to look out for that day because all roads will be leading to that fight and i can assure you the belt is not going to go anywhere the belt will remain here how important is the fight how important is that particular wbf fight to not not only sarah but to kenya as well to kenyan boxing uh, it is very important to sarah first because uh, it is it will be a world title and it will be her fifth belt and it will also add up to her status in terms of boxing and uh, for the country at large it will be also um, a very big uh, statement that we have a champion in the making in this country who is none other than the angel of war, Sarah Chien. Yes. And coach, what does it take for you to raise up the young, the young uh, aspiring boxers who are here? You know, it's never easy because, again, boxing is promises them, gives them the world under their feet, right? Yeah, it takes a lot of passion, dedication and sacrifice to do what I'm doing. Because you see many, many coaches and many other people, they are, they are into this sport because of money. And, but for me, I put money behind and I put the sport and talent of the youth uh, before. Because uh, I know uh, boxing is never played in, uh, in uh, well-privileged areas. Boxing is a sport that is for the non-privileged people. And so uh, it takes a lot of sacrifice for any coach. It takes a lot of passion and dedication. Yeah, to yeah, bring champions. They are not of course, right? Yes. And, and also maybe, Coach, all this has been, you know, the recognition that has just come, the news that we have right now about the Laureates uh, World Sports nomination. You know, the nomination, whether you, whether boxers will bring home the trophy or not, it's, it's a big honor, right? It is a very big honor. I'm optimistic that we, uh, due to the kind of work we do with the community, because Box Girls is an organization, uh, apart from the boxing that you see here, uh, there's a lot of uh, things that is going on around within the Box Girls itself in the community. We have uh, school outreach programs and we have uh, our vision as Box Girls is to create a world where every girl has a platform to create opportunity for herself and for others. And uh, the mission is to create a world where every girl and woman lives a dignified life in secure communities and they are valued as equal partners with equal opportunities. So that's what we are, we are striving to do and bring it in the community and the kids we work with. 
in the schools holistically. Yes. yes. Angeli Analo, the head coach of the Box Girls in Kariobangi North, of course, telling us about the preparations that uh, Sarah Ching is undergoing, as well as uh, the expectations on the nomination that glorious uh, global awards. Of course, I'll be compiling this in another report, uh, this and uh, detailed report of uh, this particular their training and how gear are there for the championship in our subsequent uh, bulletins at 7 and 9. Back to you, Daniel Akome, for the continuation of uh, Sports Check.